Hello everyone, I hope you're ready to embark on a magical journey through Merge Sort. Hands down, the greatest sorting algorithm ever devised in the history of the last five minutes. Now, I bet you're wondering, what are we even gonna be sorting? I bet it's something very cool, very relatable, something I would sort in my everyday life. Well, to answer that question, here you go. All right, now that we have our lovely clay figures all in a line here, we're gonna, we're gonna just go through all of them and sort them using merge sort. However, first, I'm sure you're all wondering what the names of every single one of these are. So first, let me, let me show you the first one here. This one is, um, pretty sure it's Pikachu. All right, let's move on to the next one. This one is um, Pikachu as well, I'm pretty sure. This, um... Yeah, I have no clue what this is. I, I kind of forgot. I'm not I'm not 10 anymore. This one... Um, this one's a little tricky. Give me a second here. Let me just, let me just finger through here. Uh, hmm. Alright, so this one's Pikachu as well. I mean, what, what do we really expect? All right, so without further ado, let's get to the actual merge sort. So how the merge sort is going to start is we're just going to take all of these things and continue dividing the list in half over and over and over until there's one element in every list. We're just going to keep making separate lists. So if we knew the length of this list, let's take it right now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. 28 clay things are sitting in front of me right now. So we're going to find the 14th and split it there into two lists of 14. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Eight. So this is the 14th one, right? So we're going to just take, we're just going to split the list right there all right so these 14 are in a new list then these 14 if i can make if i could make the gap wider i would so how this is just going to keep going is that we're going to keep dividing these up into half lists until we end up where all of them are just in their own nice list homes now if there's anyone whose time i'm going to waste it's my own not yours so i'm just going to split these up into one and see you in like 12 seconds or 12 milliseconds. All right, guys, so now we've broken down all of this stuff into little one element lists. I know it looks like I just moved them down and spaced them slightly more apart, but no, they're all in their own separate list. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start at the beginning of our all our little lists and look at the first two things. So we got this thing and we got this thing, and we're shorting this list by favoritism. So we're gonna merge these into one list. I'm gonna look at both of them, say, compare these two. Which one do I like the least? This one. So this goes over here, this goes over here. This is now a list, they're buddies, they're there forever. Let's move on to the next one here. All right, these two. So which of these two do I like the least? This one, so he's gonna go into the merge list first, followed by this guy. Now again, if there's anyone whose time I'm gonna waste, it's my own. So, please enjoy the next several minutes of me lumping clay figures together. Everyone, so now we have all these wonderful lists of exactly two elements that were merged together and sorted. So all these lists are sorted, I'll have you know. So now how do we do this when there's two lists with multiple elements? Well, we're gonna compare the first element. So we got this thing and this Pikachu, all right? So of these two, which one do I like the least? It's this one. So this one gets thrown into the list first, our new merged list that will be of length four. Next, let's compare these two, and then go put this one up here. Now we compare the last two, and this one goes here, and this one goes here. So if you didn't catch that, now we have a list of four sorted elements. It's amazing. Well, would you looky at that? All of the figures have been sorted into wonderful four-length lists. And that's truly marvelous. Now let's move on to continuing the merge sort. 
and merging these two adjacent lists into a list of eight. Now, it's going to work by the same process. You look at the first element in both lists. Which one do I like the least? This one. So this one's going to move into our new merged list. Look at the first element again. Which one do I like the least? This one. So it's going to head on up here. These two. Which one do I like the least? This one. So this is going to go all the way over here to our merged list. Now let's look at this and this. Which one do I like the least? This one. Now we have these two lists. Let's look at the first ones. Which one do I like the least? It's this one. That goes into our merged list. These two, which one do I like the least? This one. And then of these two, we already know this is sorted. So let's just throw them into there. Look at that, guys. I was just going along my way, casually sorting my list. You can see I completed three lists of eight elements. They're all wonderful. So, But then I have just this odd list of four because 28... It's not a power of two. So we have this odd position where I can't merge this list with anything. But that's all right. We'll just get it on the next iteration of our merge sort. So if I come back over here with these two eight element lists, they are very long, but we're gonna sort them the old fashioned way. We're gonna compare the first elements and keep doing that until we have a sorted list. And so now you can see that we have this list of 16 Pokemon figures. And everything seems like it's coming together. So now if we go over to this weird situation, where there's eight elements in one list, four elements in one list, we just do it the same way, right? Let's look at the first elements. This thing and this thing. Which do I like the least? This one. That'll go up into a new merge list. This one and this one. It's going to be this one. This one and this one is going to be this one. And you get the point. Alright, so now we have one list of 16 and one list of 12, and they're perfectly sorted by favoritism, so it's only going to take one more iteration of merge sort before this list is completely sorted for all of eternity. Well, here we are. All 28 things wonderfully sorted do to merge sort and guess what it didn't even take that long there was no point in time during this entire production where i was wondering what i was doing with my life and why i didn't just use seven elements that happened never and anyone who tells you otherwise is a liar merge sort was truly amazing and it pulled through in the end sorting all 28 of our elements wonderfully by favoritism but now we still have one more sorting algorithm to cover quick sort will quick sort end up being faster or slower than merge sort find out next time